Hi guys, Dane here, and today it is time for me to do my November 2020 uh, YouTube slash booktube shoutouts. And uh, for this one, I've done what I do in my tag videos, which is that I've gone into my recent comments that have been left on my videos, and I've just picked out uh, 10 recent commenters whose channels I enjoy. So without further ado, let's jump on into it. Alright, so first up we have everyone who reads it must converse, that would be Noah. Um, Noah reads quite a wide variety of stuff, but he has similar tastes to me, I would say. Um, a lot of like sort of more modern -y, classic -y stuff, uh, less like commercial bestsellers and all that kind of stuff. And um, again, he's just one of those channels where he's just a really chill dude. And so it's just nice to spend some time with him, to let him into my living room and to listen to him talk about books, you know. At number two, we have Kaz from Cats and Camera. Um, Kaz is great. I've been watching her for a couple of years now. I actually spoke to her recently for The Art Show, which is my radio show as well. She was kind enough to give me some time and to uh, come and be a guest on that. Uh, she's from the East Midlands, I think, whereas I'm from the West Midlands, so we have quite a lot in common there too. And uh, overall, she's just, you know, a very positive person. She reads a lot of um, like LGBTQIA stuff as well, which I think is really cool. Um, you know, helps to... Um, sort of just normalise stuff like that as well um, and also I know she's a big Darren Shan fan so if you're into Darren Shan you, you're probably going to want to check her channel out so uh, yeah Kaz from Cats and Camera alright yep yeah, next we've got Books in Blood a great horror booktuber who I discovered fairly recently uh, we were chatting on Instagram actually like today at the time of filming because um, he's posted a video talking about the local haunts anthology as well which is all very good stuff because obviously why are you still pinging at me? Because obviously I'm biased towards that anthology having a, having a story in it. But uh, yeah, his channel's great for discovering new horror stuff that you might not otherwise have come across. And I would definitely recommend checking him out if you get the chance. Up next we have The Archive. Uh, this is uh, Graham Quigley. And uh, he's a Scottish booktuber, very chilled out guy. Really uh, kind of disparate taste in books. So uh, we've read, buddy read quite a few things together. We've buddy read like Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. We've buddy read Dune few others I can't re even remember them all because there have been quite a few but uh, definitely would recommend checking out his channel if you get the chance uh, yeah even if just for his accent if, if nothing else all right up next we've got Mindy from Mindy's book journey funny enough uh, she read June with us as part of January as well so as you can tell she reads some sci-fi she reads some horror but again she's another quite wide reader uh, got just a great collection in general as well um, She's had a couple of breaks here and there where like real life has come in the way as it does and I always find myself really missing her so um, I'm glad that she's currently uploading videos sort of not as we speak but at the moment anyway. Then we have Charles Heathcote, good old Charlie Heathcote. Um, so he's probably one of my favourite booktubers. Um, been watching his channel for a couple of years, two, three years now and he's been going for even longer. Uh, he's a writer so I really enjoy his uh, R. Doris series. But his book, An Heir to Murder, is currently out as well, which I helped to edit, so maybe I'm a little bit biased there. But uh, I just love his sense of humour, I love his uh, wool gathering videos, and also he's partial to a tag here and there, and they're always enjoyable, so uh, definitely check Charlie out. Alright, then we've got Graham Sillers Reads books. So I think his husband's called Duncan, and uh, Duncan's in the video sometimes. There was a really enjoyable video a couple of months back now where um, they were putting up some shelves and stuff, and it took you behind the scenes, and it was very relatable as well. Um, I think I'm more like Graham, who strikes me as not very good at DIY, whereas Duncan really knows his stuff. Duncan's got his own toolbox and everything, you know. Um, but yeah, Graham's uh, videos are always enjoyable. I like his hauls, they always seem to be like kind of themed uh, as well, which is quite cool. And he just reads a wide variety of stuff and uh, is always just a really approachable, really nice dude. So definitely check out Graham Sillers Reads Books. Then we have one book, one review. A uh, few reasons why I like this channel. I suppose the first one is the letters to the month. So each month she does, uh, you know, a letter to August, letter to September, etc., uh, etc. Et um, she also does some really good. Her wrap ups are good because they're um, they've got statistics and stuff. Um, she's a Terry Pratchett fan too, and um, just in general, again, another one of these booktubers who's been around for years and. Um, it gives me the warm fuzzies because I'm like, I remember watching them years ago as well. Like, it's fun to get nostalgic about BookTube. Okay, then we've got Jason from Jason's Weird Reads. Uh, another BookTuber who I've worked with. Um, so I've edited his upcoming novel. I don't want to say too much about it though because I don't know how ready he is to talk about it. But um, yeah, it was a pleasure to work with him. I was also in uh, the local Haunts anthology with him, which was quite cool. 
Jason is a Canadian booktuber, mostly reading horror, but he does read a little bit of everything as well. Uh, so you never quite know what you're going to get from his channel, which always makes for interesting viewing, I find. He's a very chilled out, relaxed dude. Uh, we were bonding as well because he's quit drinking and I'm not drinking at the moment as well. Although I might be drinking now, I don't know, we'll see. I didn't drink for October anyway or for um, the end of September, so I'll probably just keep it going for as long as I feel like. All right, and then finally we have a native lady book warrior, and um, I like the little adventures she gets up to, uh, her and her kids. Um, she's always been very supportive on my channel, and I really enjoy her channel as well. She doesn't make enough videos, unfortunately, um, but, you know, who does? Whenever you find a channel you like, they never make enough videos, so... Uh, yeah, so it's... I, I don't know, it's, she's got one of those vibes that I like where... Because um, I don't really sort of surround myself with kids or families and stuff, so I sort of feel like an honorary member of her family and it's quite nice to sort of you know feel like i have a place <laughs> there we have it those are my november 2020 youtube shout outs you can find the links to all of these channels below and i do suggest going through and subscribing to them if you get the chance and obviously if you like the look of their content uh, in the meantime of course you can also subscribe to my channel if you're new here you can hit that like button you can let me know in the comments of uh, some channels that you've been enjoying recently and i will see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot Bye bye